Hi, today we're taking a look inside the MK19 factory, the legendary Modus. is macro mechanics on a grand scale. The precision-tooled A2 steel will form the first part of the heavy-duty receiver. The intense heat of the MIG welder fuses the heavy gauge steel, creating the robust receiver for the MK-19 automatic grenade launcher. Sealed within the CNC center, this oversized steel billet will become the heart of the weapon's blowback operation. In a feat of surgical precision, the solid steel billet is transformed, revealing the critical sear engagement surfaces and extractor slots. The milky white coolant reveals the intricate heart of the weapon. This level of precision machining, highlighting the massive cylindrical barrel of 4150 steel spins rapidly. A cascade of coolant allows the precision cut that defines the four. <laughs> Hydraulically pushed through the bore, the brooch engraves the six perfect helical rifling grooves designed to stabilize the linked grenades. to ensure peak performance. This is the heart of the blowback operated system, built for chambering linked grenades. The manganese phosphate finish ensures durability. The stamped and welded steel top cover plate, fresh from the parkerizing bath, is secured in the vise. It is the intricate brain of the blowback-operated weapon. The blowback-operated feeder mechanism is the clockwork brain of the weapon, requiring watchmaker's precision for assembly. The polished feed slide is carefully aligned with the machine channel. This heavy-duty feeder mechanism relies on such precision The heavy-duty blowback operation demands flawless lubrication. This single drop on the polished cams and feed paws is crucial. Manganese phosphate gives the exterior its matte finish, but inside, the feeder mechanism's polished steel levers and cams control the violent flow of ammunition.
raw steel is violently scoured by a high-pressure torrent of aluminum oxide, transforming the surface into a uniform matte finish. This is the crucial stage, the chemical baptism. The MK-19 receiver is submerged in the mang- The MK-919 receiver undergoes its industrial baptism in hot manganese phosphate. This extreme macro shot captures the, the parkerizing process, submerged in the steaming manganese phosphate. Compressing the dual recoil springs is critical. Once guided into the receiver, the heavy backplate is secured, the locking pin engaging with a solid thunk. This deliberate, forceful motion is a key step in completing the blowback-operated weapon's final assembly, showcasing its utilitarian design.